Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach podcast. I'm Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today we're going to be talking about the magic of habits with Suhani Shah. Suhani, welcome to the Habit Coach podcast. I'm very happy to be here. I don't know what am I doing here with habits. Like I I'm still thinking how many good habits do I have and do I re- am I really following habits? But when I think about it, I feel like everybody has those habits, no? Whether we want or not, we do live by patterns. Absolutely. Yeah. Every action or thought we have Yeah. Technically it's a habit it's because a habit. it becomes a habitual thought. Yeah. It's just that you have habits that work for you and habits that don't. And then you con- uh, habits that you consciously consider as habits and some that are you are not aware of. Like you will just call them patterns or like right now I feel like meri koi habits hai nahi. Hmm. But when I think of it I'm like oh no I do this every day. Oh no this is a ritual that I follow. Every time before a show I do which is a habit. Complete habits. Yeah. And the thing is that our entire life is made up of it but we have unconscious habits that mm. means we didn't choose to make them they just happened either because we saw our parents doing them or we saw somebody else doing them and we started following along so the whole idea about actually the podcast is to how do we make conscious habits consciously make good habits yeah absolutely yeah wow interesting very interesting and now because otherwise you're just constantly living in a life that is just free flowing and you have no control over so might as well make changes and be in control of be in more control of yeah. what is happening in your life Which is a debatable thing. Sometimes you know you just want to flow with what's happening. Um, but yeah, like I am somebody who would not like a lot of control over my life mm-hmm. in terms of where I'm going. I might want control on what's happening now, mm-hmm. but where I want to go, I feel like I want that to be more free flowing. Like I'm somebody who doesn't plan, who doesn't have a lot of goals in life. So you don't plan at all. You no. don't have any goals. No, but I I would have short term goals. Mm-hmm. Ki December me ye karna hai. Huh. January me ye karna hai. Um. Something like like if I start something, मुझे पता है कि अब इसे better करना है. That's the goal. Like if I start doing, uh, I start preparing for a new show, I know कि अब इसको best show बनाना है. That's the goal. Correct. Uh, अगर मैं कुछ book लिख रही हूँ तो मुझे उसको बहुत अच्छी किताब लिखनी है. That's the goal. But I don't have वो कि मुझे पांच साल में यहाँ पहुँचना है. मुझे छः साल में इतना कमाना है. मुझे दस साल में घर. As I don't have those major big life goals. Have you ever had them? Have you ever created them? Sat down and had someone do them with you? No. Because it's a very interesting exercise. Because then you actually see where you want your life heading in general, right? Otherwise, you're looking at the next step, the next step, which is brilliant. But in which broad direction do you want your life to be going, right? Which part of the world do you want to be staying in, right? So that's a very interesting thing because I feel my entire life has has kept changing every four years. Yeah. I mean, I didn't plan it. Now that I look back in hindsight, I feel like, अरे मेरी पूरी ज़िंदगी बदलती रही, बदलती रही, बदलती रही. It never. Now, for example. Before pandemic, like five years ago, I would have never believed what I'm doing today. Mere, it wasn't. It was beyond my own imagination. ठीक है. So five years ago, I couldn't have set up this plan for myself. Now five year, years ago, if I look at myself, I feel like I have gone beyond what I could have imagined. If I would have set up a goal, it would have been limiting myself. And I feel something like that even now. I feel like you can do beyond what you think you can. But by setting up a goal, you might just reach there and limit yourself. At least I that for, feel that for myself. So it's very interesting. You don't set realistic goals. So you set perfect life goals. You set like extraordinary, extraordinary goals. So here's the thing. Maybe then, in that case, maybe then I do chase something. Like I chase a lifestyle, not right. a goal. Hmm. Like I want a kind of lifestyle I want to live. Like I want to, I want to be experiencing summer everywhere. Like I don't like cold, so I don't want to experience winters a lot as I grow older. I want to make a more convenient lifestyle for myself. I want to live with dogs. I want to, like you know, I want to keep traveling. So that's a lifestyle I chase. But again, it's like such a random thing. But that's actually a goal. Yeah. So in fact, one of the exercises that I used to make my clients do. Was called the magic wand exercise. Maybe you can do this when you go home as well. It's brilliant. I just do that. <laughs> I don't. It's not an exercise for me. <laughs> I love it. It's like whoosh. Where does it come out from? <laughs> Nobody will know. So, imagine yeah. you gave yourself a magic wand because mm. I clearly can't give you one. <laughs> imagine you gave yourself a magic wand, <gasps> mm. and you could create your perfect life using that magic wand mm. seven years from now. What would that magic Perfect life look like, right? You could be married to Brad Pitt. You could be staying in the Bahamas. You could be doing anything in the world. What would that perfect life look like seven years from now? But that's the thing. I can't. Why? Uh, maybe because I haven't ever done it. So mm-hmm. it's not in my pattern. It's not the way I function or think. 
but also because I feel like seven years is too far. Hmm. It's too far, and I feel in this moment with my capacity of thinking, whatever I make can be an underplay of what I actually can achieve. I feel humans can go beyond what they think they can. Even in my wildest, like exactly like like twenty five years ago, I started performing magic. Correct. Okay. There's only little. There's only that much you can do being a magician in this country. Okay, and I was doing magic when there was no internet. There was like computers had just come into the country. You know, like वो black वो DOS use करते थे. I don't know if you know DOS. Of course. Now. So from then, and I kept performing magic because I enjoyed performing magic. I never thought I'm going to be performing with actors and I'm going to be on biggest of stage. ये ये नहीं सोचा था. You know, conventional magic. मतलब I I तो have heard things like लड़की है जादू करती है school नहीं जाती शादी कौन करेगा इससे इसका क्या होने वाला है life में hearing those things, but just performing still performing magic was I have the passion for it and I love performing. Mm. I love being on stage. From that to just keep performing, then to be on television, then to be like all the places currently, um, you know if before pandemic somebody would tell me that I have to perform online. I'm like, चल ना भी magic कौन online करता है? You know, it was such a huge no. Yeah. I would not even consider the thought of performing online. But then, pandemic happened, and to maintain your own sanity, I went online and I started talking to people and I started performing magic and became creative. And that opened so many more doors for me that I could have never ever even imagined. So here's what I always keep kept telling to myself. Now I remember when I was like twelve or thirteen, and I was asked this question: Where do you see yourself? Similar to what you asked now, but I was asked like: Where do you see yourself three years from now, five years from now? And I used to be like: I was five years old. I didn't think I would be here. So now, how do I even think that I would be here? It's 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 gone beyond. So I have learned this that I cannot plan where I'm going to be. All I can do is whatever is coming my way right now. I give I do that so well, and I do it in the best of the way that this one thing will open more doors for me. Hmm. And then whatever comes in next, I do it so well that it opens more doors for me. Only thing is sometimes you feel you need to have a direction. Yeah. Okay, at least path to pata chale kahan jana hai. At least you had a direction, magic, right? For example, hmm. imagine if you said that I am going to take one step at a time, and I have no idea what I'm going to be following. Right, that is the directionless approach that a lot of people have because they're like, I haven't made a plan. I don't know. Life is free flowing at mm. that point of time. Mm. You at least were passionate, madly passionate, right, about something. Yeah. So that itself was driving you. Correct. So I, again, I'm very free flowing mm. because I don't know if you know. I've ventured into a lot of things even while being while being a magician. Like I ran a clinic for nine years as a clinical hypnotherapist, and I was in politics for four years, and I'm. Professional diver, and um, I've written books on psychology and human behavior. So I kept venturing even while being a, you know, free flow. But if my mind is doing something, I don't stop myself. I don't stop myself. I just do it. Okay. Same thing. Online, I wanted to do it. So I did it. So we did it. But then I didn't do it just to do it. I don't want to do things for the sake of doing it. I feel the huge self-respect. My self-respect is very high. Hmm. I don't want to do things for the sake of doing it. I feel the huge self-respect. My self-respect is very high. If I'm doing something, it should be good. Absolutely. So there's a pressure I would put on myself, but I don't want to do things for the sake of doing it. It's such a positive pressure. Like I enjoy that pressure, and the moment I take away that pressure from myself, I lose interest in even doing those things. So I really want to do it well. Like, How do you maintain that pressure? Do you do you sit down and actually focus on something? Like how do you maintain that pressure on yourself to keep performing at this high level? By staying curious. All right. I'm a very cu- I'm everybody I believe are very curious, right? I mean, I, and I'm a very curious kid. So I'm like, अब ये भी करना तो ये कैसे? Like I venture into things. जो मैंने कभी सोचा भी नहीं होगा ना लाइक टू स्टार्ट डूइंग ऑनलाइन कंटेंट क्रिएशन इन लाइक इट्स बीन व्हाट टू एंड हाफ थ्री इयर्स आई स्टार्टेड बट आई वांटेड टू नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट इट एंड टिल आई डोंट नो अबाउट इट आई बी वेरी लाइक ये भी करना है वो भी करना अच्छा लोग पॉडकास्ट भी कर रहे अच्छा लोग वीडियोज भी बना रहे अच्छा लोग ब्लॉग्स भी बनाते अच्छा गेम शूज भी होते अच्छा लाइव स्ट्रीम भी होती है अच्छा अब शॉर्ट्स भी आ गए अच्छा अब रील्स आ गए अब रील्स में कैसे चलना चाहिए अच्छा एलग्रिदम में आई एम सो क्यूरियस एंड वाइल आई एम फीडिंग माई क्यूरियोसिटी आई एम नॉट फीडिंग इट बाई सिटिंग इन द रूम And reading about it, mm. I'm feeding my curiosity while actually doing it yeah. and learning. I think that is because I haven't been to school, so my process of learning is very executional. Um, because I didn't go to school, the me ko kaise koi padhata hai to mujhe nahi samajh padta. Kya ki maine wo kabi kiya hi nahi. Maine se padhti ho to mujhe thik lagta hai. 
I find it's it's nice when I when I read about it, but my actual learning only happens when I'm executing. When you put it in action, that's when yeah. you learn learn yeah. it completely. So I'll make like thousand reels hmm. to understand what works, what doesn't work, how does it work, how does it work, and you know, and and while doing that, you automatically progress also. How do you find the time for everything? I don't. Hmm. I don't find. I don't find time for everything. I do only one thing at a time. Sometimes two things at one time. I'm. It looks like I'm doing a lot of things. Yeah, it does, right? That's the social media impression of people. No, right, right now when you're talking about, you know, like you'd focus on something and deep dive into it. Hmm. So how much, like what does your daily routine look like? No, but I do, I focus only on one thing or one or two. Like, for example, hmm. I was on an India tour for last two months. If you go and check my social media for last two months, it's pretty, pretty, like less view, uh, less videos less engagement because I was focusing on live shows. Hmm. This is somewhere where even I'm learning on how to make a balance on online and offline where I can actually keep performing and maintain my online bit but it becomes too much for me to deal with it. So I just focus on what I'm... This one thing, I, I can't do things I don't love. Hmm. I'm a very passion-driven person. Um, Again, from childhood, I'm doing things that I like. So suddenly if you tell me that now you have to do this as work, so it's very it takes a lot of passion it takes a lot of effort from me to do something that I'm not passionate about and I don't think it's worth it so basically when I started performing magic there was always this one question do I want to do something else because I started performing at 7 and I used to always look at it as you know when you go to a there's so much of khana. so what you do is you see everything and then you decide what you want to have. I think this opportunity is not a good Correct. It can't be that you have to do this and you have to do this and you have to do And I think for me, like I started with magic, but it's not that I stuck to magic all my life, 25 years. I kept doing magic, but meanwhile, I also explored like swimming, scuba diving. I was a state champion, I was a professional diver, then I went into politics and I ran a clinic and writing books. I did things and I still came back to magic like, mujhe, now I know I'm sure of what I'm doing it wasn't like you didn't try anything else so how do you know that you feel good and good correct now I tried so many things and yet I felt no magic is more fun on stage I have to stay on stage so I think it's important to explore and then make a conscious decision rather than just be like I have to do this so people tell me how to find passion I said you have tried so many things Hey, try to care, you know, passion you don't because when you try 10 things, you'll know about yourself better, you'll know what you like, you'll know what you dislike, you know what direction you like. Try any care, then there is no point. You do a lot of things, you read a lot of books. You told me like what 110 books this year. 110 books this year. Time ka sa milta hai karne ka? So audio books na so while you're driving, while you're walking. So you start listening to these things. And plus you speed read to get to the points that are the juicy bits in the book that you want to understand. I need to have a separate podcast with you or maybe just a separate chat with you to understand your hacks of reading Done. that makes you read 110 books in a year. <laughs> maybe more by the end of this year. More than the end. And do you drop them? Do you just like, they fall by the wayside? Do you just re reject them now? How do you mm. deal with that? I'm in a tricky space there. I can't always reject those things. Hmm. Sometimes I might have to do them because it comes as a part of my work and as a part of following what my passion is. For example... A lot of things that I do online, I started it because I loved doing it. Some of them, like I still love doing live streaming when I'm talking to my people. I stuff, still love making vlogs. I still love making magic videos. Sometimes I have to do things that I'm not, not enjoying a lot. But because I'm doing those things, it is giving me the visibility. I'm able to reach to people a lot more. And that helps me perform my live shows better. Mm. So if there's something that helps me with my actual passion, I'll of course do it. Sometimes. <laughs> So it's a route to that actual passion. It's, a, it's, it's feeding in, so you might as well spend time doing Anything that. Anything that helps me be on stage hmm. is, is, is what I'm going to do. How I does, love being how on How does stage. it feel being on stage? How do you describe that emotion? It's normal. Hmm. That's the most normal thing for me. That's when you feel completely at home. At home. The most, like I'm more comfortable being on stage than having this conversation. Not that I'm not comfortable here. You see how comfortable I am. But imagine how much more comfortable I would be being on stage because... I am on. I've, I've. I started being on stage from the age of seven. Hmm. From the time, बच्चे को कुछ समझ पढ़ना शुरू होता है, तब से मैं स्टेज पे थी. 
not for one day or two days i was on stage almost every day every day crazy i was perf- i didn't go to school i didn't go to college i was just on stage whatever i learned was on stage whatever mistakes i made was on stage i used to have my lunch and dinners on stage sometimes i have slept there we used to be very hippy with our lifestyle we used to just keep performing we were very traditional artists you know what दो ट्रक का सामान लेके हम घूमते थे हमारे तीस लोग हमें असिस्ट करते थे वो सब भी साथ में घूमते थे किचन भी साथ में होता था गो टू वन प्लेस परफॉर्म दे फॉर अ मंथ यू नो इन एन ऑडिटोरियम एवरी डे यू शू परफॉर्म टू शोज डे यू शू परफॉर्म थ्री शोज डे एवरी डे फॉर अ मंथ एंड देन गो टू अना अदर सिटी एंड देन टू अना अदर सिटी सो आई एम ऑलमोस्ट परफॉर्मिंग एवरी डे मैंने घर पर इतना टाइम नहीं बताया जितना स्टेज और ग्रीन रूम में बताया तो मेरे लिए तो वो कंफर्ट है ना मतलब दैट्स द मोस्ट कंफर्टिंग थिंग टू मी सो लाइक आई वाज सेइंग सो देयर आर सो मेनी पीपल हु आर पेट्रीफाइड ऑफ बीइंग ऑन स्टेज सो पब्लिक स्पीकिंग इज हायर देन द फियर ऑफ डेथ राइट फॉर मेनी पीपल डिड यू हैव अ फियर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एट द एज ऑफ 7 और वाज इट जस्ट आई जस्ट फील लाइक होम फ्रॉम डे 1 आई थिंक फियर्स कम व्हेन यू ग्रो नॉट व्हेन यू आर अ किड ओके um as a kid I was like अरे मुझे स्टेज पे जाना है और मुझे मस्ती करनी है बिकॉज मुझे अच्छा लगता है शोज करना एंड वॉज लिटरली जस्ट दैट द फन बिट वॉज दैट आई हैड द गुजरात चीफ मिनिस्टर द देन चीफ मिनिस्टर शंकर सिंह वाघेला आई हैड द गुजरात चीफ मिनिस्टर एज अ चीफ गेस्ट इन माई फर्स्ट शो एंड वॉज इंटायर मिनिस्ट्री इन मीडिया फन बिट वट आई वॉज एट दी एज दैट आई डिट नॉट इवन नो वट अ चीफ मिनिस्टर मीन्स ठीक है मैं तो जाके शो कर रही हूँ मुझे जाके बस परफॉर्म करना है सो आई लव डूइंग दैट यू डोंट थिंक लोग क्या सोचेंगे तुम गिर गए तो क्या होगा तुम भूल गई तो क्या मुझे क्या करना है मेरे को जाके परफॉर्म करना है इवन दैट वॉज अ प्रॉपर थ्री आर शो विद डायलॉग्स एंड असिस्ट नथिंग मैटर टू इट नाउ आई थिंक नाउ ऑल्सो आई थिंक नाउ नाउ इट्स एक्सपीरियंस बट द फेज इन बिटवीन वेन यूर टीन एज यू नो वेन यूर फोर्टीन थर्टीन तब वो सोच आनी शुरू हो जाती है कि ओ मुझे बराबर करना है अच्छा अच्छा ऑडियंस में ये है आई होप आई डोंट मैस इट अप आई डोंट आई होप आई डोंट मेक मिस्टेक्स But again, what happened was by the time these fears would start coming in, it was already ten years of performing. Hmm. You know, so now experience was also there. I'm so much more confident with ten years of performing. By the time I understood what a chief minister means, by the time I understood what a producer or a director means, there were already too many in my show. So everything became everything nullified hmm. very early in my life. Stage was my best friend, most comfortable on stage. Uh, in fact it's my remedy it's my meditation it's my solution to all my problems to a point where jab main bahut bimar hoti hu ya main agitated hu ya kuch bhi ho raha hai my mother would be like tera show kab hai next you know because they know that once she goes on stage wo theek ho jayegi hmm. because udhar to option hi nahi hota na aapko theek hona hi padta hai and it just becomes like something you look forward to so even though it's been 25 years of performing i'm just looking forward to my next show again how does it feel before stepping on stage on stage and once you step off stage like think of the biggest show that you've done yeah. something that you've like super excited about pumped about what is the feeling just before going up what was it like when you were there and then what was it like when you stepped off so um there's always a stage prayer that i do okay nothing that never doesn't happen hmm. so that happens every time before the show did you do it before a podcast no are shit it's just my stage this is not a stage sorry actually this the is a stage world is a the stage the world exactly everything is a stage yeah, there you go everything is a stage mm. <laughs> from that time till i go on stage i think i'm doing my makeup or getting ready and all and once i'm ready and all there's restlessness ki ab bas ab ho gayi na main taiyar ab shuru karo show let me go on stage mm-hmm. so i think it is इट्स बिन परपेचुअल सो फार मतलब वो पच्चीस साल से रेस्टलेसनेस रही है ऐसा कभी नहीं हुआ कि बस अब मैं आराम कर रही हूँ मैं वेट कर रही हूँ वो पेशेंस लेवल नहीं है वंस आई एम रेडी आई एम जस्ट लाइक लेट्स लेट्स गो शुरू करो जल्दी जल्दी यू नो इट्स इट्स लाइक आई एम स्टिल दैट सेवन ईयर ओल्ड किड हु वॉन्ट्स टू गो ऑन स्टेज एंड परफॉर्म फॉर पीपल आई डो थिंक दैट हेज चेंज सो फार ऑन स्टेज इज हाँ वंस आई एम ऑन स्टेज आई काम डाउन ना दैट्स माई एलिमेंट दिस इज माई स्पेस अच्छा चलो अब ऑडियंस आओ बातें करते हैं अच्छा परफॉर्म करते हैं मेरी कहानी सुनो तुम्हारी कहानी बताओ वट एवर आई हैव टू परफॉर्म आई परफॉर्म एंड आई थिंक पीपल सी दैट पीपल सी माय कंफर्ट व्हेन दे आर वाचिंग मी पीपल सी हाउ हैप्पी आई एम व्हेन दे सी मी एंड आई थिंक दैट मेक्स देम आल्सो मोर कंफर्टेबल एंड हैप्पी एंड आई थिंक दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू प्रैक्टिस एनी ऑफ दोज थिंग्स कम्फर्ट 
body language when you're standing there when you're talking did you did you practice all of those elements i haven't consciously learned it mm-hmm. but it's the same thing you're doing it from childhood yeah, over thousands of years uh, i mean thousands of performances shows. yeah i've done more than 5000 shows 5000 shows yeah 25 years 5000 shows and proper stage shows not like a like a 10 people thing, not like, like an auditorium not no no not <laughs> like this i may have performed for 10 people right but in an auditorium in an auditorium so it's like i'm always on on that stage so when you're doing something from the age of 7 if you don't get better at it in 25 years you should have left it long ago you no? should stop you doubt yourself correct so 25 saal ke baad when some, now somebody comes oh you're so good at it i'm like thank you i'm, I'm very grateful when people appreciate me but then i also think that 25 saal ke baad agar main achhi nahi karungi na to genuinely mere mein problem hai and people come and say you're so lucky this comes naturally to you ah uh, uh, thappad you want to give them uh-huh. right naturally to me in 25 years of experience huh? yeah i mean yeah. No, even as a kid when people used to tell me ke like when i was 7 8 um, nine years old and when I'm performing in Kanpur or I'm performing in Rajasthan and there used to be people walking up to me telling me that ye bachchi mein to devi shakti hai ye to bhagwan ki den hai kala and I'm, I'm not denying it's god gift but everybody has a god gift mm. I come and see me you know 10 months of mad ass practice I've done every day before starting my first show did you see that? No, you did not see that. It's not that one night I was sleeping and then I woke up and I wore outfits and I went on stage. It didn't happen that way. So it, of course, everybody has God gift. And then it's about how you hone those skills and how you make a support system for yourself. It took time for me to convince my parents. My parents worked very hard for me. Uh, my brother sacrificed a lot for me because my parents were paying so much attention to me. So it's a family thing. They all did so much for me for this to happen. And just to say that Devi hai. Oh, yeah. yeah. Validation is nice. Hmm. But well still. Don't take away my hard work. <laughs> exactly. From me. Just like I, the only thing I own right now is my hard work. Is is, is is what I am today. I love that. The only thing I own is my hard work. Yeah. I, I'm a very karma believer. I think like anything can deceive you, not your work. So be very loyal to it. Yeah. Just focus and do it, right? Yeah. Okay. Getting off stage, what does it feel like? That's a very tricky situation. Depends on how the show goes. <laughs> but you're constantly evaluating the show as yeah, it's happening. Yeah, 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 hundred hmm. percent. So there are. So when do shows bomb? Magic shows bomb much lesser. Hmm. Like they don't, according to me, unless you are a bad performer, which I feel I'm not. Hmm. I am not. Uh, Devi, eh? <laughs> hmm. No, what happens is because magic as an art form is very surprising for people. So even if one act may bomb, hmm. like it revealed or some mess up happened, you have other one to pull it off. Correct. And uh, every magician will always have that one effect that they'll keep it when things go wrong. Hmm. Or for the end, which they know they will not fail. That's what every magician would do. So the finale would be practiced always to be good. death so yeah. that it has to be a high. Yeah. Like you need to be real. You need to have talent for a magic show to go bad. Oh, really? Like that? You need huh? to be real. Because, in, like, you know, in, even if you're, like, a magic show is like a magic show. You know, I'm disappearing a coin in front of you. You're going to get surprised. Correct. How can you, how can a magic show be bad? Hmm. You know, it, it's like that. Something or the other in the show you will like. Unless it's, you, you're, like, too bad. <laughs> like, too bad. And I don't think anybody's that bad. They won't be on stage otherwise then. Yeah, and for everybody, there's an audience. Hmm. You know, for every type of magic there is an audience people like it because the entire bit about magic is that there's mystery to it Mm. and mystery is curiosity I trigger your curiosity and everybody is driven by curiosity how did it happen how did it happen exactly so even if they get to know how it's happened let's say sometimes like hey humko pata chal gaya kaise wahan to kar le na you cannot do it and then even if the idea is I always say that magic, the last thing I focus in my show is the tricks. Mm. Magic is not about the tricks. What are the effects in magic? There are hardly five effects in magic. You appear, you disappear, you levitate, you get to know what's in their mind and you teleport. There are not many effects. There are five to six effects. Mm. And there are thousands of magicians doing magic over ages, like, you know. All of them are doing these five effects only. It's storytelling with these five it's effects. It's storytelling of how you make that effect your own. And what story you say. 
So a magician, according a good magician, never performs a trick. A good magician gives an experience mm. of wonder, and that's a difference in performing a trick and giving an experience, performing a magic act. They are different for me. Um, a so, act is the performance with the story, and a trick is just that element. Just the trick. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. You know, and it it. I feel the story is way more important hmm. uh, than than just performing a trick, and that's what differentiates each magician from the other. There can be five magicians performing the same trick, but it can be five different performances. Lovely. There will be five different performances, and that is where you'll connect with your audience. And I think that is important. So th- this leads me to an interesting thing. You know, normally when, especially content creators, this this time, right? Like hmm. people are talking about content creators, and everyone's talking about following others. And how do you figure out what is your voice? You know, the the natural you, because ultimately that's what they say, right? The natural you has to come out on stage. Yeah. How did you figure that out for yourself? For magic, you're asking, or for content creation? For your for for your performance. For my magic performances. Hmm. Actually, you know, my answer is same for the both. I don't know why I didn't have an ask. <laughs> um, so, for magic is something I plan, like I want to be a magician. Hmm. Content creator, I did not plan I want to be a content creator. I became a content creator because people loved, they supported. I also kept giving them content that I liked. So, I was doing what I loved and then they liked what I loved. And then I was like, oh, I found my tribe. Hmm. I, I found my people over there. The idea was to keep doing what you like. The idea was to keep doing what you like to do and just keep getting better at it every single day. I always say, people say, what is your best show? I'm like, it's yet to happen. You know, it's it's the next one is going to be better than the previous one. So, and it's always going to be there. I'm not just saying it because it sounds good. I have worked something interesting in the last one that I will make the next one a little better. And I've learned so much in every performance. So, finding your voice is, I don't know why it is such a fuss about finding your voice and making your space on the internet because that's the only natural thing that you have that you are unique uh, why are you struggling to be unique isn't that a given that you and self-doubt, I self-doubt no? so a lot of people yeah, suffer but from that's what I'm saying that, hmm. that self-doubt is for me the most mm, weird thing hmm. I should say because um, what you do only you can do but Ashton, the kind of questions you ask and the kind of podcast you run and the way you get your guests and the way you make them feel comfortable, I'm not saying others are not good, but that's the way they do it. Correct. How are you struggling to find your space? Because you already have your space. Hmm. You just have to be out there. And I think that's what happened with me. I never, ever struggled to find my space. I never be like, Oh, hey, look, these are all people are doing. I have to do this. I have to do this. No. Hmm. I genuinely... I genuinely kept doing what I like to do. I genuinely kept doing what I want to do because that was the easiest bit to do. Hmm. I don't want to make strategies. I don't want to do difficult things. Um, Doesn't not... excite me, correct? Yes, I want to do this, I will do it. Hmm. Somebody says that I, I was always thinking that I didn't dance reels. Hmm. But then one song came in. I really liked that song. I did it dance. And as I said, I was generally dancing, my people recorded and they put it up. I'm like, put it up. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. So the idea is, you do what you like to do and you'll automatically make your space because the one thing I know is I'm very unique. Hmm. There are many other magicians. They too are very unique, but I am very unique. Correct. Um, I know what I like to do. I know what I want to deliver. I know where I want to take my magic. I know where my audience is. Mm. I know what I believe in. I know what I don't believe in. I just have to put it out there. And if people like me, they will follow me. If they don't like me, they will unfollow me in four days. Mm. Um, but I feel the world is very big. There's a lot of audience. Uh, I'm like this. If there are some people who will like me like this, then I want to cater to them. Um, the idea is just to be out there. The idea is just to be out there. I think visibility ka game hai. Kuch log kya karte hai? Wo sochne mein bahut time gawa dete hai. Ki yaar... They don't put in action. They just keep thinking and thinking. Yeah. Thinking. Hmm. Uh, that's what I told you, na. Main, main hazaar reel bana dungi. Hmm. Fir dekhoongi kya chal raha hai, kya nahi chal raha hai, kaise log pasand kare, kaise log pasand nahi kare. But soch ke ye ek reel bana na ki ye pasand aegi ke nahi aegi. Usme agar mein time, mein, mein ko gawana pasand nahi hai. 
सो आई जस्ट कीप मेकिंग कॉन्टेंट आई कीप डूइंग वट आई लाइक टू डू फिर जैसे मैं देर वॉज इज फ्यू मंथ्स आई कैप्ट मेकिंग कॉन्टेंट रील्स एंड वीडियोज एंड ब्लॉग एंड एवरीथिंग 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 सडनली लाइव शोज अभी शुरू हुए नो आई एम डूइंग सो मैनी शोज मैं शोज पे शोज किए जा रही हूँ शोज पे शोज किए जा रही हूँ लाइक आई एम परफॉर्मिंग ऑलमोस्ट एवरी अदर डे लाइक टुमारो आई एम परफॉर्मिंग डे आफ्टर टुमारो आम परफॉर्मिंग वीकेंड आम परफॉर्मिंग लाइक आम जस्ट परफॉर्मिंग तो कॉन्टेंट कम बन रहा है बट मैं परफॉर्म भी कर रही हूँ तो मेरा आइडिया इज टू स्टे एसोसिएटेड विद पीपल इन सम वे ऑफ दी अदर बी इड ऑनलाइन बी इड ऑफलाइन द मोमेंट शोज विल गेट ओवर अगेन स्टार्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग ऑनलाइन कॉन्टेंट ऑफकोर्स आई एम ऑल्सो लर्निंग टू बैलेंस इट आई एम नॉट दे येट बट आई एम लर्निंग ऑफ हाउ डू आई बैलेंस इट शुड आई हैव शुड आई मेक सम मोर टाइम in the day during my live shows that i can put up content online but i don't want to push myself in doing it hmm. i don't want to force myself to do it because when you force yourself to do that you lose the authenticity you know fir aap wo kaam ki tarah kar rahe ho aur wo jab authenticity samne logo ke paas nahi aayegi fir people will also be like are yaar didi ab aap badal gaye ho magic magic you, has never felt like work to you magic is never oh no never hmm. magic is just Magic is magic. It's magic. Yeah. The only thing uh that I've been doing for 25 years is magic. Everything else I've I keep doing. But that I'm hard doing. work to practice and get it right and all of that, that doesn't feel like work. Like all the prep work and all the stuff that happens before that. Do you ever get frustrated learning a new trick for example? Mm, no. Also because you have a good team. Hmm. I've made sure that I put a lot of effort in making a good team for myself train them be with them understand their intentions uh tell them what my vision is and you know be aligned with their vision and when you make a good team to jo wo tedious process hota hai na your team helps you to make that easier hmm. so for, so that i can still focus only on my art to wo ek hafte ya do hafte ka mehnat lagta hai wo team ko banane mein train karne mein शायद कभी कभी ज्यादा लग सकता है कभी कभी दो तीन महीने लगते हैं जस्ट फाइंड दैट वन पर्सन करेक्ट बट आई थिंक दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो फॉर मी एज आई सेड एनी थिंग आई डू इज विद पैशन नॉट फॉर वर्क सो नॉट एज वर्क तो क्या हो जाता है कि इवन द टीम आई हैव मेड इज सो पैशनेट दिल के इट्स बिकम लाइक फैमिली दे आर अलाइन विद वॉट आई वॉन्ट सो द लैंग्वेज एंड द कल्चर इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम बिटवीन यू एंड द टीम दैट पैशन इज वॉट इज कीपिंग एवरी वन टूगेदर Yeah, I mean, as much as I understand, and I can be wrong here, is if any of my team member is sitting here, would be speaking a similar language. Mm. It's what I assume, but Lovely. I like to assume that. <laughs> before we were doing the podcast, before we started recording, you were saying that consistency is something that I don't have yeah. in life, but in my magic, consistency has always been there. Yeah, which is very interesting. I mean, I also got to know that thought when I was talking to you before we started recording because I struggle with consistency. That is a that is a problem with me and i am been struggling to work hard on being consistent with something like be it um with my health or you know be it with my habits um something i want to learn um so i am i'm struggling there and uh, what happens there where's the struggle with it uh the my struggle is with uh curiosity driven and mm. the curiosity gets fed and then you leave it ah you know like for example I know how to play the keyboard, but now I know how to play it. So now there's no point learning, continuing now, it. Now exactly. Hmm. Okay, so now I know how to play the flute. So if you give me the notes, I'll play. But then I'm not practicing it every day. I should be getting better at it. I should practice it. Like the the motivation. And I remember the like first five months. How did I pick up the flute and I would practice it every day because मुझे वो नोट नहीं मिल रहा मुझे ये नहीं हो रहा अच्छा ये ये टोन बराबर नहीं आ रही है. Now वो आ गया. but then you lose out on the practice of it and life is not about just knowing things it's about executing them and enjoying them like 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 recently i'm running learning drums hmm. and uh, and there is a thought in my mind that bothers me that you're not going to continue this because your past says so correct but then i still feel like does that mean i shouldn't even start a new thing and i'm like theek hai because that would stop the thought that i will not continue doing it would stop me now from even from starting something new hmm. and it was very dreadful and i went through that phase uh i i'm still i'm i've not overcome it um but i'm at least at a point ki let me at least start 
अगर नहीं कंटिन्यू किया चलेगा बस शुरू तो करो उसके डर से शुरू नहीं करना गलत हो जाएगा एंड हाउ मच टाइम डू गिव फॉर ईच ऑफ दिस न्यू थिंग्स दैट यू पिक अप बिकॉज़ आई एम वेरी सिमिलर टू यू इन दिस आई टेल यू सम ऑफ सम ऑफ माइन एज़ वेल सो हाउ लॉन्ग डू यू गिव टू ईच ऑफ दिस थिंग्स इट वुड बी वेयरिंग फ्रॉम 15 टू 30 मिनट्स अ डे नॉट मोर देन दैट एंड हाउ मेनी डेज लाइक अ मंथ टू मंथ्स वीक्स इयर्स इट विल बी फ्यू डेज इन द वीक दैट आई एम इन बॉम्बे uh because like for example drums i have to be at my studio yeah, to play them so sure. i have to be at the studio why did i pick up a flute because i could carry it mm. anywhere mm. um so things like that um depends on what time i get but whenever i go to the studio then i make sure that i'm there at least spending 15 to 30 minutes on playing drums it could be other things also not just music it could be like health it could be so what's the hang up with the health and fitness why has that not stuck to what your goals were गोल्स नहीं थे फर्स्टली हाँ वो वही बोलने वाली थी मेरा कोई गोल ही नहीं है कि मेरे को ये मतलब I can you know what See, the I, thing is that the intentions not there like why yeah. should i be doing this there's so much else happening in life i can be exactly giving, hmm. no, no i think what happens is magic has so much priority yeah everything else is secondary everything else is secondary suppose i'm i i i work out i had a personal trainer i worked out for like every day two months hmm. ठीक है बिकॉज दैट वाज पेंडेमिक करेक्ट एंड देन आई शो स्टार्टेड आई कांट बी एट होम ठीक है एंड नाउ लेट्स से दिल से कि ठीक है Zoom पे कर लेते हां बट मैं 4 बजे सोई हूं मैं शो करके ट्रैवल करके बैठी हूं मैं 7 बजे उठ no अब 3 दिन छूट गए आज ठीक है यार देखते हैं विल सी सो द कंसिस्टेंसी इज अ प्रॉब्लम द मोटिवेशन इज आल्सो एंड नाउ अगेन इट्स अ वेरी फियरफुल स्टेटमेंट फॉर मी टू से बट आई एम श्योर मेनी पीपल गो थ्रू दिस टिल इट इज नॉट अ नेसेसिटी जब तक काम चल रहा है ना तब तक आप चला लेते हो Like I think it's the same with me. ऐसा नहीं कि मैं कोलैप्स हो रही हूँ ऐसा नहीं कि मुझे कोई बीमारी है नॉट दैट मैं वेट करी कि कोई बीमारी आए मुझे बट यू नो जनरली अब जैसे ऐसा कुछ हो जाएगा समझो कि ऐसा लगेगा नो सुहानी देर इज़ अ प्रॉब्लम एंड यू हैव टू रन और यू हैव टू वॉक टेन थाउजेंड स्टेप्स एवरी डे हाँ अच्छा तो वो मैं कर लूँगी फिर वो मोटिवेशन आ जाएगा बिकॉज नाउ इट इज़ बिकम अ नेसेसिटी करेक्ट जब तक वो नेसेसिटी नहीं है तब तक आई एम लाइक ठीक है वेट मेरा मेंटेन रहता है जीन्स मम्मी पापा के अच्छे मिल गए मेरे को तो वो भी ठीक है हेल्थ इश्यूज इतने अभी तक जो भी है अच्छा मैं मैं स्वीट मुझे पसंद नहीं खाना तो मेरा ईटिंग बहुत अच्छा है इन जनरल उस पर भी मैंने मेहनत नहीं करी आई डोंट लाइक द टेस्ट ऑफ स्वीट बनाया भगवान ने मेरे को तो थैंक यू मतलब मेरे को ना चॉकलेट पेस्ट्री दूध में भी शक्कर मिठाई Anything that is sweet, hmm. I don't like the. I like sour. I like spicy. I like tangy. Hmm. I don't like the taste of sweet. Man, you have no idea how lucky you are. This is the Davy part. No, this is actual <laughs> lucky because I haven't worked hard for it. <laughs> I just genuinely never liked sweet. So the intake, food intake, is in general nice. The only meal I like to have in the day is breakfast. Hmm. So my breakfast, lunch, dinner is also maintained. I'm not. I hate oily things. Not that I do it. Everybody is like, oh, you have to diet. I mean, I'm. 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 These were your subconscious habits. They weren't consciously created. They just existed. They just existed. Okay, it's just naturally how I like things. Hmm. You know, I generally don't like oily stuff. I generally don't like sweet. Um, I don't like creamy, creamy things. I don't like that. Hmm. So in general, I like things. I love ghar ka khana. I love dal khichdi. After every show, you were asking me. After every show, um, it's a manager. बोलते ना लिख के दी होती है चीजें तो इट्स अ थिंग कि आफ्टर एवरी शो शुवानी खिचड़ी ही खाएगी वन दाल खिचड़ी इज रेडी रेडी या आई वांट गरम दाल खिचड़ी यू नो नो मैटर तुम कितना भी अच्छा दे दो एंड वेयर एवर आई एम इन द वर्ल्ड लाइक मैं बाहर इन थी खिचड़ी को मिलना मुश्किल मैंने कहीं तो बनवा उसको बोल के ऐसे-ऐसे बनाते हैं सो बिकॉज़ आई थिंक फॉर बिकॉज़ देयर हैज बीन सो मच ट्रैवल इन माय लाइफ आई लाइक घर का खाना सो मच तो अगेन हेल्थ में वो हो गया कि नेसेसिटी नहीं बनी अभी तक जनरल खाना अच्छा ही है और नॉर्मल बॉडी मूवमेंट्स हो ही जाते हैं नींद मेरी इन जनरल अच्छी है सो एज यू टॉक अबाउट हैबिट्स या सो हेल्थ वाइज यू कॉल ऑल द टिक मार्क्स हैपनिंग आई आई फील लाइक इट है ना 
Yeah, I mean, not ten thirty. I will sleep. Brilliant. I have, but then when I, of course, when there are shows, no, I won't. But if there are no shows, मुझे साढ़े दस अच्छा I will if we are going for a party, hmm. let me sleep at ten thirty. Hmm. I will wake up at twelve thirty and join you. <laughs> Like we were at, uh, I just finished my shows in Goa, and my entire team wanted to go to Thalasa. It's like a big place, yeah, yeah. party place in Goa. And I'm like, "Chalo, chalte." Believe me, yar. I, you know, its parking is not a very safe parking. I slept in the car in that parking, and I was like, "Mujhe tum jao party mein." Mujhe aavaz aa rahi hai gaano ki wo, and main gaadi mein do ghanta soiyo. I woke up at twelve thirty. And then full thamal. I'm like, "Batao kahan par ho tum log?" You know. And then they were like, "Ham andar hi abhi thamal." Chalo, main aari. And I walked and I went. And I, now I'm up till morning. But मुझे वो दो घंटे का भी नींद मुझे उस time पे चाहिए. You know. Hmm. That so even if people are partying or they're doing thing, let me sleep from ten thirty to twelve thirty, one thirty. If you continue party after that, I'll join you. If you don't, Razam, I do not have FOMO. I'm okay losing out. मतलब मेरे को नींद बहुत प्यारी है. मेरी नींद मत खराब करो तुम सो दैट वे आल्सो इट्स फाइन सो यू डू रियलाइज यू कंसिस्टेंट इन एवरीथिंग इट इज नॉट दैट यू आर नॉट कंसिस्टेंट सडनली आई एम फीलिंग गुड कमिंग ओवर हियर है ना फॉर दिस पॉडकास्ट सो शी स्टार्टेड द पॉडकास्ट बाय सेइंग आई डोंट नो व्हाई यू कॉल्ड मी ऑन दिस पॉडकास्ट माय हैबिट्स आर कंप्लीटली अट्रोशियस यू कॉल्ड मी ऑन द रॉन्ग पॉडकास्ट आई आई आल्सो वेक अप इन टाइम See no they, matter, now you just like you know everybody now listening now to the I'm in your po- face <laughs> you know that's that annoying person who says ah, you know as much as <laughs> I, I eat I don't put on I'm not doing any studying and then you get the first rank <laughs> that that's what you're turning in so just to rub it more in your face uh, <laughs> no matter what time I sleep like even if I sleep 6 in the morning 5 in the morning I will like my latest late utna jo bolte hai na is 10 so I'll wake up 8:30 Seven thirty or you are ten thirty sleeper and eight am wake up. No, no, that is even if I sleep late. Huh. Suppose that I sleep at six am. Then I will be max max out. Ten. Yeah. I mean, at nine am I will be sleeping. Then I will be ten. It's like I can't wake up later than ten. It's Correct. like a thing. Other than that, between seven thirty to eight, I'll wake up. So that's a nice long sleep that you get. Hmm. No, but I don't sleep at ten. No, every day. But I'm saying that okay, if I'm going to a party, you know. But I don't generally get that opportunity to sleep mm. because I'm performing. No, I'm performing like. Yeah, and then becomes hectic at, at night. Yeah. So this is I'm telling. If I'm not performing, if I'm not performing, then I'll just sleep at the sooner though. Then I'll wake up very early. No, not very early. Six. I'm an eight-hour sleeper. Eight-hour sleeper. Oh. So, do you plan when is it performance time and when is it like creative? But I crave for those eight hours. I mean, I don't get that. And when I get those eight hours, now I am superhuman. I'll be Can like, achieve anything. Today, tell me, you, how much pending work is there? All today, give me. You, today, give me. So it's like when I get eight hours of sleep, I'll wake up. I'll have like this wholesome breakfast. Like आज मेरा दिन आज सब साइड में हो जाओ हाथ स्वानी सब कर लेगी. You don't walk down a corridor saying you're thinking this, you're thinking this, you're thinking this. You're... Brown really okay. Good. Oh God no. no. Can you imagine that we like killing superpower? That's super so power. painful to me. You don't want to know what people are thinking, buddy. <laughs> knowing what people are thinking is overrated. है ना? Mm-hmm. Telepathy. People say that if telepathy ever happened, mm-hmm. we'd all kill each other. Yeah. I still feel uh, like killing people. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are some of the skills that you learned in magic that mm. you think would directly translate into making you know people's lives better? Like, what are things like observation, for example, like we were talking about before on before we started recording? What are certain skills that you picked up that would be fantastic for people's lives? I think one of the major ones would be analyzing. Okay. You know the way you analyze people's body language. Sorry, when you analyze people's body language, when you read between lines, when they are talking, it's a very interesting thing. To to make it even more easier, like very basic would be like let's say eye patterns. To understand what's happening in a person's mind with the way they are moving their eyes, mm. understanding their uh, micro expressions. हैंड मूवमेंट्स लाइक अभी वो हाथ फोल्ड करके बैठे हैं अभी उन्होंने हाथ ऊपर कर दिया ओपन कर दिया पैर ऊपर करके बैठ गए नॉडिंग दैड लाइक दे आर नॉडिंग हाउ मेनी टाइम्स दे आर ब्लिंकिंग ऑब्जर्विंग देर ब्रेथ यू अंडरस्टैंड अ लॉट बाई दीज थिंग्स लाइक ऑल इट्स ऑलमोस्ट अ कॉन्वर्जेशन यू हैड सो इफ समी स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस 
in their day to day life conversations become much easier and i'm somebody who believes that real magic is conversations when your conversations become easier you can rule the world if you know how to talk hmm. tum kuch bhi kar sakte ho if so, you can get your point across and understand what the other person is saying basically yeah majorly understanding what the other person is saying because that's when you understand what the other person is saying you know how to mold it you know how to now put your point forward but in a way they understand hmm. so i think that's super power that's that's like a very important thing and that's what magic has taught me magic has taught me how people think how they function so that's what magic has taught me i've understood what magic has taught me how people think how they function um where to make them look how to control them a lot more as an artist so i can make them look here while i'm doing something here hmm. so but again it's all body language thing you know I, if i know how they are looking where they are looking i know how to control and make them look where i want them to look so all those bits and everyone's unique in this or there are certain patterns that are like replicatable across Nobody's the world nobody is unique there huh people all over the world are the same all over the world and that's a very fascinating thing i'm glad you asked that people all over, i you know like oh everybody is so unique which is true but human conditioning is very similar you know and that is a very interesting bit so the show i perform here is the same show i would perform um in london i might just change of course language will change a bit and some references will change and all but magic per se that i perform will be the same because i know how they think they think exactly the same way people all over the world think the same way which is very interesting मतलब अगर किसी की आईज एक पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन में गई है और तो वो वैसा ही सोच रहे हैं वो पूरी दुनिया में सेम ही है सो आई थिंक चेंज इज दैट एंड दैट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यू नो व्हेन यू व्हेन यू रीड अबाउट बॉडी लैंग्वेज इन इफ इफ पीपल वांट टू रीड अबाउट इट देयर इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बुक बाय जोसेफ ओकोनो एनएलपी वर्क बुक एनएलपी वर्क बुक ओके या इट्स इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इट डजंट टीच यू मेंटलिज्म सो डोंट बी डिसअपॉइंटेड और टीचेस यू NLP neuro linguistic Correct. programming hmm. but at a much deeper level at a level that you can use in your day to day life immediately hmm uh it's like a workbook basically okay so something ba- something that i i so they teach you something then go practice and come back correct ah lovely it's 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 interesting hmm. it's an interesting book for understanding people and behaviors we use a lot in magic when did you start learning nlp mm i didn't actively learn nlp honestly hmm. Uh, I realize that what I do is called NLP. Acha, like that. Yeah. So you picked it up. I by... do mentalism. Hmm. Like mentalism has a lot of NLP, but I didn't know it was called NLP. Also, is a very new thing. Like, uh, you know, honestly, it's been there for a few decades. Few decades. It's popularized very, hmm. very in like two decades max. It was not this popular in India. Yeah. Okay. We had more of self hypnosis. We have more of cognitive behavioral therapy. Hmm. Now it's all NLP. Yeah. Honestly, NLP. If you look at it, it is uh, um, hypnosis in a more degree course, Correct. or hypnosis in a more stepwise methodology. Hmm. That is NLP. So I think we call it more hypnosis and hetero hypnosis or self hypnosis, which I do a lot. Hmm. It's a part of magic also and in general also. And then there was cognitive behavioral therapy. Now all of this is like NLP hmm. got popularized. So I know it more as a pattern of uh, visualizations and. mind control and things like that so, and then later on i real when i started reading more nlp and the techniques they were giving they like a light reading and i'm like are ye to hypnosis mein bhi hai mm. and so i started matching things there i'm a very self learner right. like anyway I've, so school jana jab nahi hua to aap har cheez apne aap hi seekh rahe ho so when you self learn things you realize that a lot of people are teaching you the same things just giving it a different name so if you see mm, a lot of self hypnosis cognitive behavioral therapy neuro linguistic programming chakra therapy mm-hmm. uh auras understanding auras they all have a uh, conscious subconscious superconscious uh they all have such similar concepts yeah. it's just which school you're going to you know are you going to learn everything through the method of conscious subconscious superconscious are you learning the same thing through the chakras in your body mm. are you learning the same thing to let's say um neuroscience that becomes like entire brain understanding but concepts will be understanding you will be understanding concepts similar concepts bas wo method different ho jayega koi aapko chakra ki tarike se sikhayega koi conscious subconscious se sikhayega koi aapko aura understanding se sikhayega koi pranic healing tarike se sikhayega so i've i've actually studied a lot of it little bit hmm. 
to understand the basic core of it uh, and realize that it's important that you follow only one school. Otherwise, you really get messed up. Yeah, because the language is different. Mm. The essence is the same. And like you said, all human beings, we behave in, in a similar pattern, right? So obviously, the essence will be the same. But then you'll get confused with the language if you're trying too many things at the same time. Absolutely. It leads a lot of confusion. Like, for example, if you are following karma theories and you say, okay, I'm going to live my life by karma theories. And then you start reading about numerology. Hmm. You messed up. Hmm. Because either you live by numerology, then only stick to that. Because then you can work around with numbers and yes, 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 or you live by karma theories. Ke what am I going to do is what I'm going to get back in return. And I have to only live by this. You can't be like, I have to do this, but this day, dude, no, you, you're messing up two different schools. That's why you get totally messed up. Then then there's a debate and the fight within yourself. And don't do battles outside, don't do inside the battles. Mat paida karo. That is the worst. Yeah, absolutely. So belief systems are very strong and have one belief is what I feel. When did you start your understanding the spiritual aspects of all these things? I think I was... So, of course, it was through magic only when people used to walk up to me and be like, ye chori bhi hai, ab jadu se bata sakte ho kisne kari hai. Haan. Ya koi bimaar hai, to mujha ke bolte, is pe haat rakh do, to ye thik ho jayenge. Hmm. I was 13 and a person with absolute suicidal tendencies who had drank mosquito repellents walked up after my show was waiting for me. And then... I saw him, didn't look very pleasant, wasn't a pleasant sight, you know, he had boils on his face and couldn't even speak well and he staggered up to me and in Marathi, I was trying to understand what he was trying to say and said that he wants me to cure him of all his illnesses and I am his last hope to live life. This was a Nasik and if he doesn't, then he would just jump off the bridge in Nasik and I was like, honestly... I now think that maybe I didn't understand the seriousness of the matter as much as I should have. But I didn't take it, I didn't even take it very lightly, of course. Hmm. But the idea of me was that So why is this person waiting for me and why didn't my team members let him? But now that I was in that situation, I had to do something about it and this was like a serious issue but also consider that I'm 13. Hmm. Okay, let's not forget that you were 1-3 at the time I'm 1-3 at that hmm. time maybe 12 I don't even remember clearly and uh, I think I was 12 and then um, I just know how to perform magic and I perform magic really well so um, I caused some water to appear hmm. there was this matka dahi ka matka kept over there and I told him drink this and you'll feel better aap ise peechye aapko shayad achcha lagega so he drank it was very little Hardly two sips. He drank and he did some gestures, fancy gestures. And then he says, hmm. Trust me, I was feeling way better than him. And then I caused more water to appear, hmm. filled up the matka, gave it to him and told him, drink two sips every morning, drink two sips every night and you will feel better. That's the only thing I had learned from doctors. Mm. Okay, no judgments <laughs> there, guys. I was 13. Mm. I mean, I was 12 and that's what I heard doctors saying and that's what I did. So two sips in the morning, two sips in the night and you'll feel better. And he went away and I walked off. That's it. Story done. Mm. Two months later, I'm now performing in Aurangabad. I receive a postcard hmm. written in Marathi translated to I met you in Nasik you gave me magic water hmm. I did what you said and I'm feeling better and I've started doctor treatment and you saved my life wow wow I knew that I gave him plain simple water something he would be drinking every single day so what people were understanding in a psychology class that placebo effect was something I actually experienced as a kid and I realized I can do a lot of things but I don't want to do it so I was always against spreading superstition around magic and other things that Correct. was my fundamental policy so hmm. when this such experiences happened my father suggested me that why don't you write a book on your experiences 
और लाइक पप्पा मुझे लिखना नहीं आता आई नॉट गॉन्ट टू स्कूल सो वेन आई वॉज फोर्टीन आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन माई लैंग्वेज आई कुडेंट स्पीक इन इंग्लिश टू दैट वॉज फोर्टीन आई कुड स्पीक इन हिंदी बट नॉट राइट इन हिंदी आई कुड स्पीक इन आई कुड राइट इन इंग्लिश बट नॉट स्पीक इन इंग्लिश तो वर्क ऑन माई लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश मैथ्स एंड साइंस मैथ्स एंड साइंस अभी भी कच्चा है इंग्लिश भी कच्ची है आई कैन जस्ट स्पीक लिटल बिट यू जस्ट स्पीक विद कॉन्फिडेंस आई थिंक दैट हेल्प्स एंड फ्रॉम दे दिस फ्रॉम द टाइम द थाट केम ऑफ राइटिंग अ बुक इज वेयर अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स चेंज फॉर मी बिकॉज नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू सेम थिंग करना है तो अच्छा करना है किताब लिखनी है तो अच्छी लिखनी है तो नाउ आई स्टार्ट इट सींग थिंग्स डिफरेंटली नाउ एंड समी वुड आस्क मी टू क्योर दैम ऑफ मैजिक यूजिंग माई मैजिकल स्किल्स नाउ आई वुड क्वेश्चन दैम वाई डू थिंक आई कैन क्योर यू वाई डू थिंक आपको लगता है मैं सच में हवा में उड़ी थी आपको लगता है वो लड़की के टुकड़े सच में हुए थे तो वो जिंदा कैसे हुई एंड दे वुड से दे वुड बिलीव वट्स हैपनिंग इट मेड मी अंडरस्टैंड पीपल बेटर इट मेड मी अंडरस्टैंड द साइकोलॉजी बेटर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली वट आई रियलाइज इज के द पावर ऑफ बिलीफ इट्स अ मेरिकल इट इज अ मेरिकल नथिंग इज बिकर देन दैट बिलीविंग इन समथिंग इज अ बिलीफ बट नॉट बिलीविंग इन समथिंग इज ऑल्सो अ बिलीफ एब्सोलूटली पीपल से आई बिलीव इन नथिंग आई डोंट हैव अ बिलीफ दैट इज अ बिलीफ it is a belief it's a belief hmm. correct so nobody can say don't have a belief and beliefs are oh my god they are mir- they are not magic they are miracles hmm. so um a person would walk up and say yeah i was very i used to mujhe bahut gussa aata tha i met a baba and he gave me this ring it's a moonstone ring and from then my anger has been curbed hmm. and i'm like wow what do you think helped was the power in the baba was the power is in that stone or what is it and it's interesting you know to to hear their answers some people say it's nahi wo baba mein bahut taakat hai nahi moon mein bahut taakat hai because you cannot deny that the moon is not powerful mm. like you the moon is powerful tides yeah tides mm. so of course it's a moon stone ring mm. the moon mein to taakat hai so who's denying but how can that affect you anyway so for me to make people understand that Anyway, what I realized, I realized that first of all, I thought it's just my country. Man, it was my job. Then, when I'm overseas, we travel. Can I look at you? I'm like, oh, oh, it's all global. Oh, wow! Everyone, everyone, everyone is like that. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, for, genuinely, you know, hmm. when I was like 14, 15, I actually thought that I'm in this country, where there's a lot of superstition. Hai. Correct. I mean that's what I look. My my observations are slower because it's everything is self learning. Okay, mm-hmm. and तब इतना internet नहीं था जितना आज है. Absolutely. हमको phones वाले दिया जब मैं अठरा की थी. तो I mean internet का ऐसा access मिला था जब मैं अठरा की थी. तो I went over there. I'm like, oh, even here people think like this. America में भी ऐसा था मेरे को. You know, I'm like, oh, so it's global. It's everywhere. Mm-hmm. Then I started understanding like अलग अलग जगहों की चीज़ें like what does chi mean, what does energy mean, what are quantum physics से जो understanding होती है uh, karma theories की and things I started understanding those bits and I got a lot involved into. In fact, my third book was on karma theories hmm. and when I say karma theories, which being scientifically explained to them as to how energies work, how atom work and मेरा पूरा study quantum physics में चला गया था wow. and things like that. So it happened. Hmm. But what I majorly realized that. Uh, as humans we believe in the power of the sun supreme source of energy mm-hmm. but we also believe in the power of the moon mm-hmm. chanda mama we believe in stars tutte tara se vish mangte we believe in planets graho ki disha badal gayi to hamari disha badal jayegi we believe in gemstones mm-hmm. we believe in rings we believe in black threads taki nazar na lage we believe in red threads taki tarakki ho we believe in a person coming to us and telling us to add an extra a in our name for success mm. so many people change their spellings correct we tell a person a person comes and tells kept to signature hai wo upar aise aise thodi upar jani chahiye and we change our signature which is our identity a person comes every morning on the television tells us about our day about our life about our career and we believe in him horoscopes are displayed every morning on the newspaper mm-hmm. and they decide how our day is going to go kya ji hone wala hai aapke sath aaj wo hone wala hai There is a tree outside our house. We try threads to it and ask for wishes. Hmm. There is a plant inside our house also that we worship every day. Dude, we believe in everything. We believe in everything. We believe in paper, pen, plant. We believe in 
earth sun moon stars we believe in another person we believe in a glass of water lucky underwear <laughs> lucky underwear is purses mm. colors numbers haircuts it's unlimited it's legit unlimited we believe in everything but we don't believe in ourselves you know and that is that blows my mind to another level matlab कोई मुझे आके बोलता है ना कि इसकी वजह से मेरी मैंने कहा पावर उसमें था कि तेरे इट्स लाइक ओके सो आई हैव गॉट पीपल ऑफ कॉर्स व्हेन आई से थिंग्स लाइक दिस आई हैव गॉट पीपल वॉकिंग अप टू मी एंड टेलिंग मी के ओ यू डोंट बिलीव इन इट बट इट्स हैपेंड विद मी यू नो जब से मैंने ये पहना है मुझे बरकत हो रही है या मुझे गुस्सा कम आता है आई एम नॉट सेंग इट इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क फॉर यू इट विल वर्क फॉर यू इफ यू बिलीव इन दिस ग्लास ऑफ वाटर लाइक दैट पर्सन बिलीव वैन आई वॉज ट्वेल्व इट वर्क फॉर हिम and it will work for you also but the point to understand it what where the power actually was yeah was it in the glass of water was it in the person who gave you water or was it in the belief that you put into that water what was the most powerful thing and that is important if your your belief can make stones into gods your belief can make water as remedy your belief can make that thread as putting away all the negativities and making you powerful your belief can do wonders and when you know that your powerful power of belief is so powerful then why to believe in anything else mm. and why not make ourselves powerful i love it well that's that's, that's so true are. right we just don't believe in ourselves everything else external will change us except yeah. ourselves yeah why do you think that happens though I think we need something to someone to blame when things don't go well and we don't think we are worthy enough when something goes well. So mm. I think those are the two reasons why yeah. we have other things to blame for. So true. Also because maybe we don't want to take responsibility. Correct. Absolutely. Ki meri wajah se ye sahi hua aur meri wajah se ye galat hua. Wo to iski wajah se sahi hua aur galat hua. Have you read stoicism and the stoic philosophers and stuff like that? No. So I'm not a reader. Yeah. You're not a reader. No. So then how do you learn all these things? You just learn. Learn, मतलब like, like you have to eat like visual. Are you a visual learner? Are you an auditory learner? Ah, uh, I'm more of a. I'm a more करते करते सीखने वाला बंदा. Hmm. ठीक है. Like even like my language was also always like I kept saying and everybody kept correcting me every time and I kept learning that way. Of course, I would learn basics hmm. through books or but I'm not like a reader reader. कुछ सीखना होगा एक आर्टिकल पढ़ना है तो मैं पढ़ लूँगी. बट क्या मैं उसकी बुक लगा के दो बुक पढ़ने वाली हूँ मैंने आज तक कोई बुक पढ़ी नहीं पढ़ी होगी वाह ओके आई एम ह्यूज बुक्स दिस सो मतलब वाओ या ऑडियो बुक्स एंड वीडियो बुक्स आई मीन एंड एंड फिजिकल बट यू नो दैट इज समथिंग आई वांट टू लर्न आई वांट टू लर्न टू रीड एंड बी एबल टू रीड इट्स अबिट यू कम टू द राइट प्लेस Yeah, so I think after we, this podcast, yeah, we will, need to. You huh? need to give me a book that I should start with. So what happens with the me? The richest man in Babylon. I'll give you this book. Okay. Hmm. So my I, gift to you, huh? So you don't yes. buy it now. Hmm. No, no, I won't buy my Marwari. What you told me, you're gifting. You forget. I'll remind you. What are you saying? <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is that. Um, so I try to read books, and then I lose interest, and then. I thought, okay, let's do audio books, but then I'm again. So I I don't consume content mm. is what I noticed off late. कि मेरा content consumption in general कम है. Any form of content, चाहे वो reading हो, चाहे वो listening हो. Like मैं music भी ज़्यादा नहीं सुनती. Okay. मुझे कोई सुना दे को oh dude क्या गाना है. Mm. मैंने explore नहीं किया होगा वो. Mm. या कोई movie हो गई, या कोई series हो गई. कोई मुझे push करेगा कि ये series नहीं देखी तो तेरी तो ज़िंदगी झंड है. तो देख लूँगी. मुझे ego पे मत डाल मेरे. ठीक है. तो ही मैं देखूंगी नहीं तो इट्स ओके मेरे को फोमो नहीं होता तो जनरल जब आपका कंटेंट कंजम्पशन कम होता है इट्स एक्चुअली अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज देन वेर आर यू लर्निंग फ्रॉम सो सो क्रिएटिविटी गोज डाउन बिकॉज क्रिएटिविटी इज नथिंग बट मिक्सिंग टू थॉट्स टुगेदर एंड इफ यू नॉट गेटिंग फ्यूल फॉर दोस थॉट्स इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट आई आई टोटली अग्री टू दैट एंड आई एम अगेन वर्किंग ऑन दैट एज वेल एंड आई रियलाइज दैट व्हाई डू आई डोंट लाइक इट एंड मे बी अगेन दैट गोज बैक टू माई स्कूल में फीड ही नहीं किया कुछ or you were probably forced at some point of time to read and it become it put a cross against it no i was never forced to do things hmm. like my parents never beat like ye karna hi hai tere ko aisa aisa kabhi hua hi nahi so never just formed as a habit no hmm uh, matlab till 14 to padhna aata hi nahi tha hmm. 
जब फिर आना शुरू हुआ तो धीरे धीरे जितना जरूरत था इट्स एवरीथिंग अबाउट जितना जरूरत है मैं उतना करूंगी इज इट एफर्ट इन रीडिंग डू यू फील दैट यू हैव टू पुट इन अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट व्हेन यू रीडिंग थिंग्स सेम थिंग व्हाट आई एम रीडिंग इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट नो लाइक इफ समथिंग दैट um like it's a new effect hmm. so there are, so i only i only understand ancient magic i'm a very big fan of ancient magic new magic what is ancient magic new magic i can't tell you like a lot of things but a lot of effects magic is a very traditional art form right right i mean i think uh, earlier and i say earlier i'm talking about like earlier hmm. earlier, earlier 20000 bc 20000 bc that i don't know <laughs> so but the thing is that uh religion and magic mein zyada difference nahi tha religion tab nahi tha magic chal raha hai logo ko super powers dikh rahe hai god magic religions ye sari lines bahut blurred thi magic tab se chala aa raha hai and that fascinates me more than what magic effects we have today correct so there are some newer magic effects there are some ancient effects hmm. uh for the magic fraternity that knows me and the magic fraternity that sees my shows they know that suhani still uses the effects that are like and they sometimes tell me ki yaar ye to humne bachpan mein bhi nahi kiya to wo kar rahi hai but i feel like again as i say trick is not important hmm. the story you convey is more important and i'm a fan of ancient ancient indian magic Okay. I'm a fan of it. मेरे को लगता है कि उस जमाने में अगर वो लोग ये पुल ऑफ कर रहे थे तो कैसे कर रहे थे क्योंकि लोग तो आज भी वैसे ही है लोग नहीं बदले तो हमें लगता है कि हमें कुछ फैंसी टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ मैजिक मेरे को नहीं करना आई डोंट वॉन्ट टेक्नोलॉजी मैजिक टेक्नोलॉजी इन इट सेल्फ इज मैजिक राइट ओके मुझे कुछ प्राउड फील नहीं होता अगर मैं कुछ टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ करूँ तो लाइक खुद का एक इंटरनल भी कुछ होता है ना बट अगर मैं एंशंट मैजिक पे जाओ जहाँ पे कोई टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं है कुछ नहीं है बेसिक लॉजिक है साइंस है डू दैट इज इट ब्लोज माय माइंड एंड आई स्टिल पुल दैट ऑफ लाइक माय शोज आर बेस्ड ऑन वेरी बेसिक मैजिक इफेक्ट्स इट्स मोर ऑन ऑफ कोर्स आई डू मोर मेंटलिज्म तो इन जनरल ट्रिकरी लेस होता है बट ऐसा नहीं कि बिल्कुल नहीं होता है hmm. होता है It's more on body language and other things, but I still, I'm a fan of ancient magic. तो मेरा जो रीडिंग होता है या इट कैन बी You won't know what the trickery bit is. Hmm. For example, a uh, trick is not happening when you think it is happening. Acha, it happened a long time back. It might happen at other place. Like for example, what person I'm choosing, maybe uh, like, मुझे पता है किस व्यक्ति को ऊपर बुलाना है. तो मेरे लिए वो समझदारी का काम है. Okay. For people, thing is के uh, जब मैं उसका mind read कर रही हूँ तब dude मेरे को पता था कि मुझे किसको क्या influence करना है. Also, a lot of mentalism uh, is is influenced. Hmm. like i i uh, not that i want to give a lot away because then that ruins the experience of it but there is no free will hmm. like hum aapko bolte hai think what you want to think hmm. do what you want to do choose what you want to choose that's that's most of it is just an illusion of free choice correct a lot of it is all you have been influenced already to think in a certain way to behave in a certain way and now जब आप स्टेज पर आए हो या जब कुछ हो रहा है तो उसका खाली आप प्रेजेंटेशन हो रहा है इट्स द परसेप्शन ऑफ चॉइस या वो इन्फ्लू हाँ परसेप्शन ऑफ चॉइस इल्यू आप इन्फ्लुएंस कब के हो चुके हो हमारा काम कब का हो गया है नाउ वेन यू कम ऑन स्टेज यू ओनली गिविंग अ परफॉर्मेंस फॉर अज ऑल्सो कि हमको बस मेक श्योर करना है कि इन्फ्लुएंस बराबर हुआ है कि नहीं सो हम बोलते चूज वट वी वॉन्ट चूज यू कैन चूज वट वी वॉन्ट यू टू चूज ओनली <laughs> so when there's a trick happen but it's not easy to do that either obviously to influence you to think what i want you to think without you knowing you're an intelligent man um and that's that is my so for me the trickery bit happened then hmm. when i influenced you to think about something for you for audiences to trick people think is happening when i'm actually when the person's actually choosing something hmm. so there of course is trickery somewhere or the other everywhere how are you presenting it what is the trickery trick doesn't have to be ke ye real nahi tha hmm. we still influencing but how are we doing it we call we for a magician that's still a trickery that's still the aspect of it yeah and you constantly learning new new tricks mm. we were talking about reading right so yeah i read a lot of those old hmm. books hmm. like if i get an old scripture oh ho 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 mai to ghus jaungi pura usme theek hai uh of magic hmm. and if from there if i get to learn something new that is interesting hmm. but honestly in magic you now create new things okay a lot of it is there hmm. so now it's all about how you created your bit out of the existing bit hmm. 
I think that is more important. How do you combine these two effects to make a newer one? So in magic, now I think we are there. And do new passions in your life seep into the magic that you're doing? So like suddenly you become a fitness buff. Will you have like Absolutely. gym magic that will suddenly Absolutely. sneak in? Absolutely. So off late I was very fascinated by storytelling. Huh. Um, and I was like, oh, I need to do this. So I'll be very honest. I saw two shows back to back. Um, I saw Zakir Khan's Tathastu. Mm-hmm. And in two weeks of that, I saw Darren Brown in Edinburgh. I saw Darren Brown was a mentalist. Darren Brown show called Showman. Mm. These two shows influenced me or inspired me to a level I can't tell you. Um, from Sakir sir, it was more about storytelling. From Darren Brown, it was more about the mentalism mm. bit. I had to combine the two. Wow. I had to. And uh, my and that's what became the inspiration of my new show that I perform now. It's mm-hmm. called Kahani. Kahani is a storytelling show. Mm-hmm. It's a sto- mentalism to storytelling show. So now you see something new, you get inspired and you want to learn it. So I, I called up a friend of mine, my Hek Mirza Prabhu, who's the creative director of my show and a storyteller. I learned the art of storytelling from her. Like, a, give me a cash, crash course in this. And then she took a lot of time to teach me. She's like, crash course kuch nahi hota, ke chup chup. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. <laughs> and then she taught me and she made me understand and she made me rehearse. I'm saying, life am story of my life. I said, what do you rehearse? Karna hai? Hmm. Karna hai. You know, and then she made me do that. She made me say my lines repeat. But like now, even though on stage you might say what you want to say, but now you know the tonality yeah. of it. Now you know how to do it. So everything new I learned. So for example, I learned how to play the flute, as I mentioned. So now if somebody's thinking of a song, mm. I'll pick up a flute and start playing the song rather than just saying it out loud. So add another element to it. I think this is with every artist. The more you learn, it adds up to your own art. Mm. And that happens with me as well. Everything I'm learning, I'm... It, it has to come back to to magic. Because that's my primary, right? Everything else is like secondary. I love it. And, you know, the last part that we were talking about, the real miracle is the belief, right? It's like magic is there, but miracle comes in the belief and believing, believing in yourself is something that is so powerful that we are not doing enough of. Yeah. I think coming back to this and ending the podcast here on, you know, just understanding where our beliefs lie yeah. and what we can amazing things you can do in life I think you're just proof of that so I um, yeah I mean I think many people everybody is a proof of that we all are doing things that we believe in you know you a lot of times your life is only as good you think your life is only as good as you believe it is Mm. you know if if I can be living the same life that I'm living today and my narrative can go like yeah, I'm not going to school. I don't have any friends in my childhood. I can't talk to anyone. Those life friendships that are not the same. I never played in childhood. I got so much of trauma. Like even today, if I want to go somewhere, I cannot. I wanted to do shows, but when I'm able to do shows, I can't maintain my online thing. When I'm online, I can't do shows. I have so much problem in life. Dude, I can change the entire narrative. Yeah. From I can call my entire life. Because there is a flip side to it. If you see 25 years of journey has not been great. My dad's in the hospital and I have performed a show. My dog died and I have to perform a show. I am unwell. I'm I'm crying. My ankle is hurt. I have to still perform a show. Aaj man nahi hai. I have to still perform a show. Because mahine bar karte ho, do din man nahi bhi karega. Char loge show karna hai. Char hazaar loge show karna hai. There is a flip side of everything. Yeah. We see the glory. We don't see the story as they say. But what do you want to choose? What do you want your narrative to be? I don't want my narrative to be that this child didn't childhood. I want my narrative to be that oh man, this girl utilized her childhood so well. Look at her at her 30. You know, it's it's then and I want to not be, I choose not to be the victim. Mm. I choose to be the leader. And I think that attitude is very important. It's very easy to victimize ourselves. Very easy. Who is the one who doesn't have problems? Like, Saying that I do not have a problem in life is, is I mean, that is also a problem. What are you doing then? <laughs> so kya safe. Kar Why are you so safe? Nee, kar kya, kya mm. um, I remember saying that uh, the more problems you solve in your life, the more you grow. Yeah. And the faster you solve your problems, the faster you grow. So, if my problem in life was only that I had to get good marks in school, then I had to get a good job, then I had to get married and I had to get a child. 
अगर मेरी लाइफ की अच्छा प्रॉब्लम तो मैंने उतना अचीव किया बट अगर मेरी लाइफ की प्रॉब्लम लगे मुझे अच्छे मार्क्स मिलाना है पर मुझे स्विमिंग में भी चैंपियन बनना है और मेरे को मम्मी पापा के साथ भी अच्छा रहना है मुझे मेरे को बेस्ट फ्रेंड को भी अपसेट नहीं होना चाहिए और साथ ही साथ मेरी वेल्थ भी सही रहनी चाहिए तो मेरी उतनी ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम्स थी ना अब मैं उतनी ज़्यादा ग्रो करी सो द मोर प्रॉब्लम्स यू सॉल्व द मोर यू ग्रो एंड द फास्ट यू सॉल्व योर प्रॉब्लम्स द फास्ट यू ग्रो सो यू शुड नॉट लेट एनी प्रॉब्लम स्टॉप यू फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम If I'm still solving the same problem that I was solving three months ago, I get very irritated by myself. Yeah, three years have been, three months have been solved. Not solved. How is it not solved? How can I be stuck by the same thing for three months? It's like quarter of the year. <laughs> so I think problems are important, and to not be a victim and consider yourself like a leader as a controller of your life is even more important. Mm-hmm. and i think that is what we need to choose it's our belief which what i believe myself to be is what i'm going to be and that perception. sounds most cliche thing no yeah. but that's still so true like and the fact that you can change that belief you know you just have to change the lens with which you look at your life right it is just that you're seeing it from this angle now you to see it from a little slightly different angle and your life changes yeah i mean you create your reality mm. wow Your reality is what you think it is. I love this. I love the direction this podcast has taken. Thank you so much for coming on and having this chat. Like we, we had nothing to do with your habits and your consistency, and then the yeah. end was just like completely different. <laughs> Thank you lovely, so much for coming. Lovely talking to you. Ashton. Same here. Yeah. And I hope people get something out of this. I think people have gotten lots. You know that people who take notes after each of our podcasts. So really? Yeah, there'll be some notes. I want to see one. notes and please tag me and post me. I want to see if you really took some notes or not. <laughs> take notes and send them to her. Yeah. <laughs> so right now you have something in your mind. All right. Like a habit or a hobby that you want to learn or you want to create. Keep thinking about it in your mind. And is it any way possible I could have known this? None. Have you told me before the podcast? Not at all. We've just met. Yeah. It, I just have to ask this every time because people think I've set things up. People think like, according to people, everybody acts in my shows, and I don't know why would all these celebrities would put their credibility on stage to make <laughs> my career according to my audience. <laughs> it is so weird. But anyway, I'm gonna write it down. Okay. Um, think about this in your mind hmm. as to. I'm assuming it's like a hobby that you want to inculcate hmm. or a habit that you want to form. Hmm. So if this is like an activity, mm-hmm. I want you to think yourself of doing that activity. For example, if it is like you want to wake up every day at six o'clock, I want you to like opening your eyes and looking at the clock at six o'clock. Hmm. So whatever this activity is, or if you want to eat a particular thing that you dislike right now, but it's good for your health, so I want you to see yourself eating that. particular thing okay that's what i want you to do so you'll close your eyes now hmm. and imagine yourself doing that activity there's quite a lot of movement of your okay open your eyes hmm. you were standing at one place mm-hmm. you didn't move a lot but there was a lot of movement with your hands mm-hmm. in what you imagined correct hmm Your legs didn't move a lot. Mm-hmm. You were just moving your hands a lot in in what you imagined right now. At a point, you were very into it. It was more like a meditative thing. What you thought of, like your eyes were closed. No, my eyes weren't closed. Your eyes weren't closed, and mm-hmm. when you were imagining yourself into it, your eyes were open. Mm. Quite a meditative thing, still. It can be. Can be. Mm. Okay. It felt like a. something like that happened hmm. when you closed your eyes in you okay mm. so your eyes were open but your legs didn't move your hands moved so for first i thought it was more like dancing hmm. but legs didn't move so maybe i thought some miming thing okay but i'm going to try and get into this more so think about this in your mind hmm. okay so it's music related mm mm-hmm. Is it about okay? I was going to ask you the question, which you answered. Like, yes, it is about a music instrument. There's a music instrument you want to learn. I love this. Oh, anticipation! Think about the music instrument in your mind. Hmm. Imagine yourself playing that. Now, I clearly could see that you're moving your hands a lot. So it could be like a mouth organ, or it could be like a. No, it wasn't a. 
What is it about playing a saxophone? I really start muffling. It is. Hi, <laughs> five. Lovely. You want to learn how to play a saxophone? I want to learn how to play the sax again. I didn't need this. I'm going to write it. Lovely. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.